Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, bringing you a hope, probably a final Madden 19 update. This is a January title update, as you're seeing on your screen right here. Uh, this has got to be the last one because the Super Bowl is going to be played pretty soon, and then after that, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you know, Madden drops off uh, within a month after the Super Bowl. Football drops off. You know, you got the draft coming up after that, and the combine and stuff like that. But after that, it's a pretty dramatic drop off. As far as uh, Madden's concerned and football's concerned, so I would imagine that after this, EA is going to put all their attention towards finishing Madden 20. So I would think this is the last update. And to be honest with you, it, it almost seems like I'm not even entirely sure why this update came out. As I accidentally went to blue screen here, that's okay. We're going to we're going to move down anyway. This update right here, I just want to point this out. It says this update is heavily influenced by your community feedback. Um, you know, and that says something I clicked to the official forums. I clicked on that It actually brought me to what looked like the exact same thing um, But this you know, they're 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 billing this as something that they you know th This was heavily influenced by us and I can see like one or two things but for the most part um, I don't really see a whole lot of influence from the community because a lot of it's like about the zone improvements and stuff like that Which I don't think anybody was necessarily asking for <laughs> some of the zones that they improved are ones that not people don't typically use because they were so poorly broken when the game came out um, that people just kind of like wrote them off. So I don't think that was that part was influenced by the community, but I do think that one of the first ones um, that uh, that I can say that um, I want I almost want to take credit for. I'm gonna highlight it right here. Maybe we can move down a little bit real quick, but um. But this one right here, where it says playbooks, fix an issue that allowed users to get players in unrealistic alignments via audibles that was being used as an exploit. I, th I mean, that's the, pretty much one of the first ones on there. I kind of want to take a little bit of credit on that because I put out a couple of videos, one in particular that uh, I th think was out of the Steelers playbook. I don't know how that play, I don't know how to check if that play still works because basically I didn't know how to do it. Uh, but but uh, somebody in my community uh, gave me a video of somebody, um, you know, basically creating a, a formation that didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Something that wasn't something that wasn't a real formation in the game, basically out of audibling. I think something that something to do with like a punt block or something like that. And I want to say that this might be it because they never really addressed that in any of the previous updates. So I have a feeling that it's based off of that. But I've had, you know, I've given myself credit for things in the past that weren't necessarily. Uh, you know credit to me anyway, so who knows but like I said this particular one I feel like could be a response to that But you know, I don't know for sure uh, Other than that, I mean like I said this is also they, they said that they listened to the community on this one But then they gave us the smallest update I've ever seen like this is the like there's only like six things here total so they listened to the community finally, but then they didn't give us much You know what I'm saying like this is the smallest update ever ever in the history of madden so you know thanks for listening uh, but you know you didn't necessarily put a whole lot behind it now did you so since this is so small and the only reason i made this video is because i can never really pass up on an opportunity to to trash ea just a little bit you know what i'm saying just a little bit it's it's all it's all you know harmless fun uh poking fun at ea but uh, but let's just go over this real quick. I mean, the franchise updates. I don't usually go too in depth with the franchise updates, but considering there was only one, I might as well go in depth. You know what I'm saying? I typically just kind of gloss over that because it's typically just all it really ever is is like player likeness updates and stuff like that, and you know nothing too major so this isn't too major either address an issue with mouse mouse selection not functioning throughout your, throughout the customize your season flow after continuing from a play down game i don't even play franchise i don't even know what that is you guys have to tell me in the comment section what that is but when i see mouse selection i think pc you know what i'm saying i don't know if that's considered the same term when you're using the controller but hey uh, so gameplay updates now like i said we already did I already talked about the one issue, which, like I said, I think might be reflective on on something that I put out in the previous video. Uh, that was a long time ago, by the way. That was like a month or, or maybe two months ago. But the next one is actually kind of an kind of a big one. It says it increases the passing accuracy and throw power penalties when wildly dropping back, very far behind the line of scrimmage, and throwing across the quarterback's body. Now I hate when they leave it open and open to interpretation like that because I, I I'm Michael Vick, so a lot of times. I'll drop back probably further 
than I should uh, or what's realistic and that's probably something that they're referring to here but when it says very far behind the line of scrimmage it's like well how far you know what I'm saying like 10 yards 15 yards 20 yards spell it out in plain English so I know to stay within a certain range I'm sure through time I'll figure out what they're referring to or the amount of space that they're talking about but for right now it's like well whenever you that's one of the people the issues the problems that people have with Madden is you know the unpredictability any other game you play there's a, a, a amount of predictability based off of what you do through repetition and in Madden it's so wildly you know up the chance and such things happen to a point where you really never know what you're going to get. I mean, I sound like Forrest Gump here, but you never really know what's going to happen. You can do the same thing. It's just like real football, I guess. They always say that the, the football, you know, the funny ball bounces, you know, drop it 10 times, it bounces in 10 different ways. Well, that's kind of how Madden is. You can do the same thing 10 times and get 10 different reactions. And that's part of the reason that people are so frustrated with the game. Other games, you can do the same thing 10 times and the same thing will happen 10 times. But Madden Madden's not like that. So here, you know, like I said, they can never really pin it down because it would take away from that wildly inconsistent thing that they're talking about. Um, so, you know, like I said, just don't drop back too far and don't throw across the quarterback's body, I guess. But that is another, I mean, they've said they've they've made tuning things in the past that, that never really happened anyway. So <laughs> who knows? That might not necessarily be true or you might not necessarily notice because I've got to be honest, like my 97 Michael Vick is pretty inaccurate as it is already. So I can only imagine how, how bad it could be now or if it hasn't really changed at all or if this is just lip service. They have a history of just giving you lip service through these updates too. Uh, special teams, a lot of people have been having issues with kickoffs all year. I've made videos about this in the past too. I'll try to put um, something in this, some links in the description to some of the videos that I'm talking about that I made because I've touched on a lot of stuff that EA has had to fix throughout the year. And like I said, I feel like some of these things are uh, maybe in reference to some of my videos because a lot of them were pretty popular. Uh, but this one is, you know, people are having issues with kickoffs all year. I haven't been, uh, you know, doing, I forget what they're called now, um, you know, like the, the weird, you know, Scum kicks, I think, is is the word. Like I said, I <laughs> just had a brain fart there for a moment. But for the most part, uh, people have been trying to find different ways to, I don't want to say glitch kickoffs, but they're trying to either kick it to the fullback all year or kind of pin it, you know, close to the sideline or I just I never really understood that but they even after they fixed the one of the previous patches um, to fix or try to address scum kicks uh, which I don't think is the accurate term because scum kicks are a little bit more glitchy than what people were doing but uh, when people are trying to fix scum kicks um, you know they basically um, you know started finding another way to kind of kick it short to the fullback and it never really worked out you'd still, if they did that to you you'd get the ball between like the 30 and the 40 which didn't really make sense so it was it was never really that you know much of a benefit when it came to the person doing it but people are still trying to figure out a way to do it all year it's, it's rampant through online so it looks like they tried to fix that one more time because like I said, after they fixed it, people tried to kind of alter it and still kick it to the fullback and just give up a, a longer return, which I never understood. So now it looks like they've improved the trajectory to avoid kickoffs that are difficult for the returner to successfully catch or recover. It's amazing how much time EA's had to put into trying to get people just to make kickoffs normal again. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. I never understood, and like I said, I made a video about this. I never understood how much time people put into this you know what I'm saying to try to to just try to avoid a normal kick return. I might have given up like two or three touchdowns on kick returns all year, but people have been so fixated on it, and I just really don't get it. Uh, it another thing with special teams, it says remove any chance at a kick block if the jump snap mechanic on defense is mistimed to be early on competitive simulation game styles. So if you make if you if you jump the snap early, I guess you just can't block a kick anymore so there's no you know you can't spam um uh, the, the 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 jump to snap button if you do that one time wrong i guess you're not going to be able to block a kick so that's kind of you know that's kind of basic i don't i really don't see the the huge um you know I, I don't see how how that was too big of a deal if that's what people were doing but apparently it was and then last but not least this one here is probably um like i said i don't think that too many people in the mad community were asking for uh, you know, improved logic on cover four quarters. 
um, you know, I just don't think it's a very good defense. I think once people realize that defense doesn't work in the community, they just kind of find something that does work and they just move on. Like I once once this year started and I realized how broken cover four quarters was, I haven't really gone back to it too much. And I don't know, maybe they're trying to make these improvements because obviously going forward in the next season, cover four and cover six need to be better. That's another one they try to fix, cover six. These are all uh, based off of vertical routes that could easily home run against these defenses uh, from three wide receiver sets. Uh, so, you know, it's like it's still really broken. So that's why that's why you still, if even if you did like to sprinkle those defenses in every once in a while, you were at horrible risk of getting, of getting beat for a, a long, easy home run touchdown off of a simple vertical route, which is why people don't use those defenses. So I can understand why they, while they take the time to try to make those defenses better, and that's basically because you know they have future plans obviously they got to fix those horrible coverages for madden 20 but realistically it, i don't really think that anybody in this year is asking for I mean, of course you would like every defense to work and not be that broken to the point where you just disregard them but i don't really think that you know anybody was asking for that uh and then last but not least they adjusted covers logic i think this is kind of geared towards one of my favorite plays too uh where a cover three match uh, does a better job against wheel routes. I've been using uh, the same wheel route uh, concepts, um, you know, from Gun Empty Bunch or uh, Bunch Trio, or I'm sorry, not, not Bunch Trio, uh, but uh, Gun Bunch, uh, you know, sets where you where you have like the verticals play. They're specifically trying to fix how broken that is towards vertical plays. I find it still works. It's still the outside wheel route still works. But now they're trying to stop the inside wheel route, which is what the running back runs. Uh, but like I said, the outside wheel route still really kills it. So it's still a really good play. But like I said, they're just trying to cover. Basically, that play breaks most cover three matches in, in a lot of different ways. So they're just trying to limit it to one way that it breaks it, if that makes sense to you. Uh, but like I said, a lot of these really seem to be geared towards uh, things that I've touched on in the past. So like I said, I always try to take credit where credit's due. Um, you know, have my videos specifically uh, led to some of these, um, you know, some of these, you know, fixes by EA, I'm not entirely sure. But I would like to think that they do. So that's why, like I said, I like to put my own little spin on it. And then last but not least, I don't want to forget this one because this is something that they said that they fixed already. Uh, they already said that they fixed, you know, they do that a lot too, where they said they fixed something and then they say they fixed it again. And then they say they fix it again. This is the same issue that's been happening probably since like the first update where on certain toss plays, uh, typically it was in the I form formation. This particular uh, fix is from the uh, the wing formation or I'm not entirely sure. But basically certain toss formations, the fullback will run across to the other side of the field. Well, in this, in this particular you know fix, it's the blocking tight end. Uh, will run across the field and cause the toss to basically bounce off of that blocker and become a fumble. So they've been trying to fix that all year. It looks like they try to fix it again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If, you, if you've if you read enough of these like I have, you see a lot of repeats. It's like, well, they said they fixed that last time. And they said they fixed that the time before. And they said they fixed that the time before. So that's it. I mean, I know I talked quite a bit. Uh, giving you some of uh, my uh, takes on some of these. I mean, there's only like seven things here. But I kind of went into them. Um, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, I, I put, I gave my real, a real personal spin on it, but that's only because I feel like these particular, uh, a lot of these were, were based off of my videos. So, you know, a, a lot of things that I exposed throughout the year. So I thought you'd want my take on it. So if you want to see more videos like this, uh, I don't know if there's gonna be any more updates, but I would say, you know, maybe Madden 20 updates when they come out, let me know in the comment section, hit the like button. And I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.